thing, like we always tell you on this show, Lagos State Government cares. Don't forget that this is Security 247 on Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. My name is Richard Amua, and I want to say thank you guys for always, for always joining us on this show, powered by Lagos State Government. We only tell you that the government cares, and that is the key and safety, you know, for you to be here. And what matters to the government of Lagos State is your security and safety. So in our communities, wherever we are in Lagos, are we opening our eyes to see that things are happening and report those things that are negatives? Like I'll tell you, security is a collective responsibility when it comes to Lagos State government. Yeah. So please. Do your part, and the government will do their part. Once again, in case you just joined me for the first time, my name is Richard Amua, and uh, some of you call me Richie Rich. And I want to say, I'm so excited this morning because um, it's a beautiful day and because we are alive. I want to say that um, today I'll see how my guest with me, uh, Mr. Adebi Yusuleman Anita, um, who started with um, uh, three weeks ago. I think I started with um, what is safe guiding and what Lagos State Government is doing with safeguarding in Lagos. And I brought in the, um, the, um, you know, the state coordinator of, um, of, of child protection in Nigeria, in, in Nigeria, Lagos State chapter. I brought the, uh, the state coordinator. And last week, uh, we, we, we discussed um, stranger danger. Like I always tell you guys, you can always go back to uh, Lagos Traffic Radio um, YouTube to, you know, to listen and educate yourself. Um, we, you know, we streamline life. So we can always join us and can also go to my personal uh, 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 social media handle. Guys, it's very, very important. So today, um, we're going to continue with our child security. Under that, we're going to be looking at thinking self guiding using technology. Guys, we know that the world has gone tech. Uh, without much ado, uh, let me bring in my guests because. Um, um, is the one that's going to do the major of the uh, discussion today. So, uh, Mr. Anitor, I want to say good morning. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning, bro. Um, when we talk about um, thinking, safeguarding, using technology, I know to a lot of people listening to us right now, mm -hmm. it, you know, it means a lot because we are in a... Um, you know, when I was in school back then, we said... Um, I know my producer, too, he studies communi uh, communication. We say the world is a global village. Mm -hmm. But right now, the world is in our palm. Global village is even big now. So our Android, our iPhone, our whatever. So the world is in it. Our children today, most of our children from age six are using you know, internet. A lot of children have been kidnapped on it, you no, know, on, on using technology. A lot of children have been abused, have been bullied, and all that stuff. So you, as an expert, you no, know, um, one thing I've not said again is that uh, Mr. Debi Yusuleman Anderson is a child rights advocate and early childhood uh, educationist. Um, it, this is what he's doing, and in Lagos State today, um, because Lagos State cares for children, and uh, because of uh, what has been happening, uh, because um, a lot of children have been abused, a lot. Of children have been taken for granted. Uh, we just felt that these three weeks of educating Lagosians on issue of safeguarding, I, I just hope that somebody somewhere is listening to know what to do. So over to you, sir. Okay, good morning, Lagosians. Um, I'm glad to be here to continue on this journey, safeguarding. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so basically before I go in proper to to the talk, I would like to share a story. All right, so this is a story of a girl who, uh, a, a, the girl and the boyfriend, they were practically, they were teenagers, but they were in love. So, and then that overclouded them. And so the girl had to send a nude picture hmm. to his boyfriend. Well, not knowing for her that she has other friends who are jealous of her progress hmm. and then jealous of how far she's going. So, Sending her pic nude pictures to her boyfriend, she forgot or she didn't know that her phone was the boyfriend's phone and her phone was cloned. Mm. And then that gets straight to the bloggers. Mm. And this is a girl who is doing fine, who is doing extremely good, academic, who is winning scholarship. And that's how uh, the nude pictures spread all around, ruin her uh, 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 mood of uh, emotions. 
and then that's how her career for that time in the time she was in school was really brought down and mm. that was really disheartening mm. so when you think of safeguarding using techno this is not even this is a jet age mm. we're in jet age now and then this is 21st century mm. things are moving on the ground again mm. things are flying mm. all right so on that note i also like to share another story of a university graduate who from only god knows maybe from teenagers who have been sleeping with his father mm. and then up to university level, she doesn't know how to stop now, and the father really doesn't know how to stop. Hmm. So when we talk about technology, I do ask these questions, because John Locke told us that the brain of the child is tabula rasa. Hmm. That means it's empty. So if it's empty, now the fact is what they get most times is what the environment feeds them with, hmm. because they are coming empty without anything. Now, the life we live now Sometimes we model some of because I usually blame most parents for what the children are doing now. Because parents are mm. always, always, I'll say it, and I'm always brilliant to say it, they are mm. always the cause of this Problem. malfunctioning mm. that these children are facing. For instance, a parent, you're, you're on your gadget, you're chatting, you could be father, you could be mother, you're checking some nude pictures. Mm. And your child is there. So the mistakes we're always making is, hmm. we're always saying, uh, is she, is she's still a child. Hmm. They, are, they don't know anything yet. Hmm. But we are forgotten that those stage of their early years, they are absorbing. Hmm. And then when there is a lot of energy at age four, five, they begin to exhibit. Hmm. And they really want to explore. So we should then be careful. Whatever we do in the midst of these children when it comes to technology because they are mm. swift in thinking mm. they are smart anything they glance on they want to try it to try it so mm. if you try something in their presence mm. and as as regards technology mm. they only save it for later time um, go anyway if you listen to us right now um I, I hope this is making a whole lot of sense to you guys uh don't forget that we started uh, with um what lagos state government is doing with uh safeguarding in school in open places, religious centers, and other places. And last week, we came up with a, a Stranger Danger, how children should be able to uh, understand strangers, who is a good stranger, who is a bad stranger. Today, we are not talking about thinking or technology using, I um, mean, thinking, safeguarding, using technology. A lot of people, a lot of parents think they are safeguarding their children. Unfortunately, with what you are doing on your phone, on your iPad, even on TV, on all those stuffs, you know, are you safeguarding your children? Especially, just like what my guest just said, Mr. Nixon just said right now, you know, how many of us are really, really, remember, you know, do, remember that before you give that phone to your children, all those new uh, you know, videos and pictures in your phone that, you know, uh, that the children are going to go through it. We don't. A lot of us, we keep you know, a lot of um, volatile um, videos and things that children are not supposed to see. So it's very important. You know, safeguarding children takes a lot. So, Mr. Anito, I'm um, going to quickly go on a uh, traffic break. When I come back, you take it from there. Okay. Uh, guys, stay tuned. My name is Remy Richard Amoa, and my guest is Mr. Adebi Suleiman Anito. Discussing thinking safeguarding using technology. When you come back, I'm going to open up the line straight, which is 080 And this is Security 247 on Lagos Traffic Radio, powered by Lagos State Government. So stay tuned, and guys, please uh, let's ha you know, have your questions or your comments on this show when we return. Mr. John, over to you. Have some traffic updates for you at this time. The earlier reported impediment at um, Stadium Hotel in what Stadium Bridge having a mechanical problem has been taken off the road, so we have better travel experience on that corridor. And then from the live camera update, we can also tell you that uh, the, inter the traffic light at Allen intersection is, is working perfectly, and so those of you 
at that corridor right now, you, you, are, you have the red light in front of you telling you to just pause a beat while others have the right of way. And, uh, you know, the traffic light is just there to alternate traffic and ensure that there is no commotion or chaotic situation around that corridor. Other part of town still looks very good, looking at Redemption Crescent at Oshodi, a Papa Expressway. All that is looking good. The main carriageway, the service lane, moving perfectly well. Uh, Bragada Phase 2 is also a very good one. Same as... Anthony by Corona Loop is also a very good one. The entire stretch is looking good. And I can also confirm to you that Ifako, those of you heading towards Alakpere, is a beautiful journey right now, very smooth. Ojota Interchange is not bad at all, but Ojota Bus Stop, I quite understand that, uh, you know, being a bus stop, uh, passengers are picking up. I mean, passengers are dropping and picking up for passengers by the yellow buses. All that would definitely slow you down on the service lane. But on the entire stretch, it's still a very good one. Security 247 with Richard Amua continues shortly. Thank you so much, John. And uh, in case you're joining us, Security 247 on Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM, we only tell you that this show is brought to you by Lagos State Government for you to know and understand what we are doing in Lagos and how to keep yourself safe. Um, we said on this show that united we stand together, we are strong in Lagos State. Lagos, uh, Lagos State security is where we all belong. Uh, let's keep our streets safe. Each and every one of us, let's care for one another. I will only say it again. The best form of security in Lagos State is good neighborliness. Be a good neighbor to your neighbor. So, uh, the line is still open, guys. Um, the senator is here with me. Uh, don't forget, we are looking at uh, thinking what again? Uh, safeguarding using technology. So, uh, Mr. John is going to be monitoring the board in case you call in, and we're going to pick your call immediately. Okay, Mr. Anitor, over to you. Okay, so, um, like we are still discussing. Mm. But there's something that we would love to ask you. You told us the two stories. Yes. No. What, no, what do you think is the genesis of those things? Because um, the research a lot of, you know, that we, we got right now recently shows that you know, a lot of fathers are having teenagers with their, with their girl child. Mm -hmm. And how, how do we begin to stop it? How do we begin to ed educate? I know even in Africa, it's taboo. So how, how do we get there? Well, um, we should not forget the fact that psychology also made us understand that there's something we call Oedipus mm. and there's something we call Electra. Mm. So this is like an affection that practically, psychologically, a child is meant to be glue, to be more emotional to the father. In fact, the research that was done then, according to the scholar, said the, the girl child or the boy child always prefer the mother died so that she can take charge. Mm. So, but from childhood, we should put the gap. Okay. For instance, a father mm. carrying the girl child, putting her on a private path mm. with boxers. Mm. They are just, the, the idea is they are always thinking they are still a baby. Mm. They don't know that they are absorbing. Mm. And as they are absorbing, once the energy comes, they want to explore. Mm. So, you don't kiss your child in the mouth. There are things you tell the child, no, this is my private, personal thing, you don't need to... You see, do. I don't know, in Africa, when we say these things, you know, maybe because our own parents, how they raise us, seriously, I, I, I praise them sometimes, even with the mistake and all that stuff. Today, no, I, when we tell parents all this, what we say right now, it seems like we, you know, um, we are not okay. Mm -hmm. Because when you see a parent kissing your, your, your little girl, aged, even age one, age two, even with, mouth. No, or, with no, mouth, mouth to mouth, not pecking, it's wrong. They, they don't believe, no. And when we tell fathers, you don't date your, your, your girl child that as young as they are, no, leave your responsibility for their, their mother. They say, no, I'm the father. And I can't. We're not saying, you no, know, listen, we're not saying all men are, but you are saying something now. For as, safety. For safety. It's very really important. It's really. So this Gen Z parent, a, a present father, we understand. Hmm. But it, the thing is, be enlightened. Be educated. Because sometimes you can even have an inf a mouth-to-mouth -mouth infection. Hmm. When you keep, I've seen a case where the girl is still suffering in the hospital. It's just through a mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. 
Okay. Even some of them just peck by their cheek mm. because you have an infection. Mm. So infection but these children are still young, and their immunity is, is still very low. Mm. No, there, there's this story. No, not even story. No, we got it from our platform, guys. In case you know, we run a no, we run child safety education and protection initiative. Um, um, and it all runs um on, on an NGO too on child rights. And um, there's this lady who says who has an issue that came up to us. You know, in fact, it's everywhere right now. And you know about how our father, how, how the husband was actually touching the little girl, less than a year old. And when you no, know, when. He, he brought it up with the with the husband. The husband said, "No, my father did that with my sisters, mm. so that my sisters could, could put them to sleep." Ah. You see, it there's a lot we hear out there, but it's wrong. And Lagos State Government France against child molestations, child abuse, abuse. touching children, you no, know, um, um, irresponsibly, mm. because you can't say you can say, "Yeah, it's your daughter," but, li but listen, but it belongs to <laughs> the other that belongs to government. It's something you will still. Cry for yes, in the future. future. So we we'll talk about you no know, uh, thinking safeguarding using technology. A lot of our children too watches so many things. So many. So well, uh, on that note, yeah. because they really can't control. They are innocent. Mm. I always take it back to parents. They yeah. are always the cause mm. of all of this. Because now this Gen Z make it look as if it's only iPhone the children can have fun with. Mm. It's only TV. Exactly. Why? No, no, you know, you know, it's so funny. Growing up, you know, so you no, know, when we roll tire, when we ten play ten. sound, ten ten, when we do all hey, those who things, who is the guiding? How come we the same parent that did that as stopping well, our now, children? And it's called, now, if you have to build a child holistically, what happened to their social life? You see, anytime time I go to places like Moshi, I have I have a I go to, I get so and I see children I see, children, I see yes, we'll see them this is no, tired. this is no childhood. But well, for those of us, you know, we think, you know, we have it all living in yeah. you know, so the, the islands and other stuff. The excuse that is because everybody is trying to be classic, which I understand. They, they don't live in emotion. Unfortunately, these children are not having childhood anymore. And then they are in Lekki, we are in GRA, but at least, even at that, that they are not exposed to all of this, we can create a simulating environment. So the children are home with their, with their siblings. But everybody is, is on phone, on phone, talking to somebody else somewhere. What so the children, are, exactly. What happened to you know, having a dinner together as family and we're talking? So if all of those were put in place, they would be limited to using gadget because some of them, if any unseen or unwanted advert pops up on the phone, yeah, some of them click on they it. They click on it and they watch. They, the, in fact, the idea is once they watch, if it's a nude, if they know that once you see them watching. You spank them. Anything. They will close La it. Last week or two weeks ago, where we have issue with um, internet, it's like the whole world was coming down. Everybody was screaming. I'm like, so if God chooses today that mm -hmm. no, for 24 hours or for two days or for a week, we're not going to have internet to work. Mm -hmm. um, how? How? How are we going to leave it? And it's because we are so addicted. We are and addicted. For us as an adult, we are, some of us are really have, us, have the acceptance that we are addicted. Now, let's train our children not, not to, to be, be addicted. addicted. Now, there are other things we can do. One, create a simulating environment where you can have toys. Let me say this. Materials. I'm proud to say today, my daughter will be 12 by May. We, don't, she, we, don't, we have not given her a phone until she Imagine finishes a secondary, secondary school. school. Oh, that's it. And she understood. She has, she know, she has a system that she does her work and everything, yeah. and we know what she downloaded in the system. You know, YouTube, nothing, nothing. You see, the truth of the matter is that it is the way you raise these children. People say Gen Z. I don't know, really, forget about this Gen Z thing. You made them Gen Z because you allow it to happen. Mm -hmm. If you see one who train your children the way your father trained you, you the positive side that. he trained you, you can, you, say, you can say. So the knowledge that we might not have is because some of us say, okay, what other way do we do? Is it not just to watch cartoons? Is it not just... Mm. There are so many things to do. And, and there are okay. so many things to actually download for these children that are applicable for them. I think before you, you, know, you, you, you mention those downloading things, I think a lot of parents who be lazy not taking their children out or helping them as uh, a social social exercise, just give them phone to yeah. keep them busy. Yeah, take them on a walk. No, take them on a walk for exercise. No, I, I go to their friends' place. I grew up not ever having no um, dinner. Or, I mean, when I said uh, hanging out with my father, my father, I was born in the village where we go to farm and other stuff, nothing else. So, growing up, reading, going to school right now, and I see how. Okay, let me this call. Hello. Hello, good morning. 
Good morning, Mr. Amua. Thank you, ma. Your name, where calling us from? Thank you. Um, I'm Alanka. Okay. I'm calling from Lagos. I'm not at my Google. Okay, ma. Go ahead, ma. Um, thank you. I listen to you every Saturday. God bless you. Amen. For the teaching, knowledge, everything. And welcome our guest. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you so much, yes, You see, what I noticed about these days, about couple or parents, is that they are not observant, number mm. one. Mm. They no discipline. They themselves are not disciplined, let alone mm. to discipline their children. Mm. You know, they allow, they say, eh, I, what I went to, I don't want my daughter to mm. go to my son. See, my father was very sick. Hmm. An old soldier that went to Second World War. Then my mother very sick. So I'm the same because of my get hmm. Because you go to be disciplined with this generation hmm. that they are calling Gen Z, you more getting to more Gen Z. You see them, they do things that are irritating hmm. or irritating and annoying. So you have to put them to order. Be very, very observant. That's what I said, this young couple. Mm. Be a canard with mm. your daughters, with your boys, with your relative that is in the house with you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Java. Thank you, ma. Because of time, ma. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. Second two four seven Lagos Traffic Radio ninety six point one FM. That's Grandma, uh, one of our uh, regular listeners here. And I want to say, guys, um, um, I want to. I'm, I'm just so excited about what Lagos government is doing with this show. You no know, teaching and helping you to understand what you need to do. Uh, anything? Uh, you know, I have a very short time here, and I'm still praying that someday we're going to be having one hour on this show because talking yeah. security and talking self-guiding you know, very... is, is very important. Mm -hmm. So as you take this home right now, what are the things they should download for the children oh, to okay, watch? Okay, so basically, number one, you had to you had to learn how to clone your child phone mm -hmm. so as to monitor, just like Grandma said, mm -hmm. be observant. Yeah. Monitor your child mm -hmm. on whatever. There's a way you can check it on YouTube, check mm -hmm. Play Store. Also, there are safe sites for children. Mm -hmm. All these kids search mm -hmm. for Google. They don't have business with Google. Mm -hmm. This is strictly for kids. Okay. You really can't see anything adult on it. Mm -hmm. You have Dog Dog Go. You have Kidtopia. There are a whole lot. Okay, I think uh, please. Lot. Uh, you listen to me right now. I know you're listening to me somewhere. You are in your car, or you are driving, or you are being driven, or you are in a filling station right now. You are listening to us. Listen, guys. Um, Mr. Debi is on social media. He's going to be giving you his social media handle so that we can keep learning. And you have my already my social media. Uh, follow me. I will, the one I do not know, I will um, you know, get you the expert to talk to you. Uh, in communication, we so we know little of everything as communicators. So uh, please hear, yeah, I'm a security consultant and I can always talk security here. Yeah. So, um, those things need to be downloaded. I'm very yes. sure a lot of people will reach out to you. Mm. Um, let me quickly uh, say this to uh, every man listen to me. Hopefully next week, Saturday, we're going to be looking at men's health, safety, and security. A lot is happening to men, and I hope Mr. John is going to host, uh, produce me because we need to learn a lot about you know, how we're taking our life for granted, how men go out there and do a whole lot, but they don't care about their head. So mm -hmm. I'm going to be bringing an expert here for you to understand that you know um, you need to that uh, prevention is better than uh, what was it? Than cure. Than cure. And curing is expensive. Yeah. Prevention is cheap. So um, Adebi, I see I have some few minutes to go. Am I right, producer? So, um, Thinking self guiding. Now, let's talk directly to the parents right now. Advise them on some things they need to stop doing. Okay, so the very first thing they should stop doing is they should not be addicted. Okay. Because father and mother will be with their phones and the child, what do you expect the child to do? <laughs> and again, sometimes the children need attentions. And that's the, not forgetting that is from this social communication, the children build their vocabularies. Hmm. Then if you are, and hmm. in fact, we have seen a research, a research has shown us that a, some child become deaf because the parents don't communicate at home. Hmm. So father will go, come back, when you come, fiddle with phone, go, hit, the same thing with mother. So the child feels maybe in these settings they don't talk. Can that kind of charge will leave her in, in inside with cartoons. Yeah, listen, gadgets. No, anytime and now we're not saying we should not use that gadget, but let's turn this around. Yes. Let's so be Africa. Let's 
to no let you know a jash tente a ja she refe no let do by ludo by ludo by no by scrabble by scrabble learn how to play you understand it's very very important so honestly open communication hmm? they should they should reduce addiction with them because they are always a role model for their child okay um that's all, all i have for today today um grandma thank you for calling in and for those of you um who will want to listen to us again uh please go to lagos uh lagos uh traffic radio 96.1 point uh, one fm facebook and do or go to youtube uh the youtube is traffic radio 961 Quickly, you go and rewatch what we just uh, did right now and share it. Send it to your friends. Let them come to listen because Lagos State Government cares. Uh, on this show, I will tell you that in Lagos City, life is alive. Security 247, you no know, um, citizen safety is our drive on Lagos Traffic Radio. And we keep you informed every Saturday at 11. Please. Get your contact, get your friend, get every one of you to come and see what we're doing here, uh, what Lagos State Government is educating you on. Remember, we always tell you, you see something, you say something. Don't be afraid, don't be shy. 767 and 112 is a number that Lagos State Government are giving for you. Even without any data, any credit, just call. It's going to go. So, um, so for, in la for one second. Go for it now. Okay. Uh, yeah. So for my, if you want to reach out to me, my Instagram handle is charts dot right. Okay. Charts it has s at the back dot right. You can always reach out. So please let us be look out. Let mm. us be a look out. Let us be vigilant. Mm. Let us have the interest because we are the role model. We are mm. always the one doing the bad thing. Mm. And we're the one teaching these children the bad thing. Thank you so much, um, um, Anita. John, thank you for producing me today. Um, man to man, like I challenge you, I want you to be next week. Yeah, next week. Uh, thank you so much, John, for producing. And to my executive producer, Taya Conley, I want to say thank you. God bless you, sir. And uh, to my boss, uh, Victor, uh, uh, Victor Otaro, I want to say thank you, boss. Thank you so much for your guidance and thank you for your encouragement. And uh, to every one of you who are listening, I want to say please rem remember security is a collective responsibility. Um, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM on um, Security 247. That's where you just listen. So, again, this show you know, is brought to you by Lagos State Government. Remember, stay safe. Remember, you see something, you say something. My name is Richard Amoa. Enjoy your weekend and be happy. Look at your environment. Know what is happening around you. If it's, if it's wrong, report it. Thank you. Oh.